Lesson 99. In this lesson, we learn yet another verb from the second conjugation, and that verb is maneo. The infinitive form of maneo is manere. Let's get some practice with our new verb by looking at the exercises. In exercise number one, desiderat is the verb. That means he, she, or it wants, or he, she, or it longs for. But we don't need the he, she, or it because nauta is the subject. Manere is the infinitive form of our new word for this lesson, and that means to stay. In insula is a prepositional phrase. So number one will say, the sailor wants to stay on the island. In number two, manent is the verb. That means they stay or they are staying. But we don't need the word they because bestiae is the subject. In silwa is a prepositional phrase. So number two will say, the beasts are staying in the forest. In number three, potes means you are able, and it's being negated by the word known. So known potes means you are not able. Manere is the infinitive form of our new word for this lesson, and it means to stay. In aqua is a prepositional phrase. So number three says, you are not able to stay in the water. In number four, we have two independent clauses, one before the word quod and the other after the word quod. In the first clause, desidero is the verb. That means I long for or I want. Serware is an infinitive that means to guard. And patriam is the direct object. The second clause says I am the queen. So altogether, number four will say, I am longing to guard the homeland because I am the queen. In number five, we have the same situation, one clause before the word quod and another clause after the word quod. In the first clause, manent is the verb, that means they stay or they are staying, but we don't need the word they because nautai is the subject. In insula is a prepositional phrase. In the second clause, the verb is habent, that means they have, and it's being negated by the word known. There's no other word in that clause to be the subject, so we will need to use the word they as the subject of that clause. Skafam is the direct object. So number five altogether will say, the sailors are staying on the island because they do not have a boat. In number six, the word said divides the sentence into two smaller independent clauses. The first clause says, I see the stars. And in the second clause, posum means I am able, and it's being negated by known, so non posum means I am not able. We have an infinitive, widere, and that means to see, and lunam is the direct object. So number six will say, I see the stars, but I am not able to see the moon. In number seven, we have two clauses, one coming before the word quod and the other coming after. In the first clause, timent is the verb, that means they fear or they are fearing, but we don't need the word they because nautai is the subject. Timent is being negated by the word known, and aquam is the direct object. In the second clause, posunt means they are able, and natare is an infinitive that means to swim. So number seven will say, the sailors do not fear the water because they are able to swim. In number eight, wident is the verb, that means they see, but we don't need the word they because incoli is the subject. Silwai is a genitive singular word that's possessing incoli. Bestias is the direct object, and cotidie is an adverb. So number eight will say, the inhabitants of the forest see beasts daily. In number nine, ambulamus is the verb. That means we walk or we are walking. We have two prepositional phrases. One is in tabernam. Notice how the object of the preposition in is in the accusative case. So that means that in will mean in two. Sine pecunia means without money, and numquam is an adverb. So number nine will say, we never walk into the shop without money. In number 10, we have two clauses, one coming before quod and the other coming after quod. In the first clause, potestis means y'all are able, and it's being negated by known, so non potestis means y'all are not able.
narare is an infinitive that means to tell, and fabulas is the direct object. In the second clause, estes means y'all are, it's being negated by known, and poetai is the predicate. So number 10 altogether will say, y'all are not able to tell stories, because y'all are not poets. <laughs>